When you speak about the Supreme Court, though, I think the American people really deserve an answer, Senator Harris. Are you and Joe Biden going to pack the court if Judge Amy Coney Barrett is confirmed? I mean, there have been 29 vacancies on the Supreme Court during presidential election years from George Washington to Barack Obama. Presidents have nominated in all 29 cases. But your party is actually openly advocating adding seats to the Supreme Court, which has had nine seats for 150 years, if you don't get your way. This is a classic case of if you can't win by the rules, you're going to change the rules. Now, you've refused to answer the question. Joe Biden has refused to answer the question. So I think the American people would really like to know if Judge Amy Coney Barrett is confirmed to the Supreme Court of the United States, are you and Joe Biden, if somehow you win this election, going to pack the Supreme Court to get your way? I'm so glad we went through a little history lesson. Let's do that a little more. In 1864... Well, I'd like you to answer the question. No, Mr. Yes, Vice she, President, I'm speaking. Speak I'm speaking. Okay. In 1864, one of the, I think, political heroes, certainly of the president, I, I assume of you also, Mr. Vice President, is Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln was up for re-election. And it was 27 days before the election. And a seat became open on the United States Supreme Court. Abraham Lincoln's party was in charge not only of the White House, but the Senate. But Honest Abe said, it's not the right thing to do. The American people deserve to make the decision about who will be the next president in the United States. And then that person can select who will serve for a lifetime on the highest court of our land. And so Joe and I are very clear. The American people are voting right now. And it should be their decision about who will serve on this most important body for a lifetime. Thank you, and, and Senator the Harris. People, Susan, are voting right now. They'd like to know if you and Joe Biden are going to pack the Supreme Court if you don't get your way in this nomination. Let's talk about packing. You once Come again on. gave a non-answer. Joe Biden gave a non-answer. <laughs> trying to answer you the now. American people deserve a straight answer. And, and if you haven't figured it out yet, the straight answer is they are going to pack the Supreme Court if they somehow win this election. The, Men and women, I, I, I got to tell you, people across this country, if you cherish our Supreme Court, if you cherish the separation of powers, you need to reject the Biden-Harris ticket. Come November the 3rd, reelect President Donald Trump, and we'll stand by that separation of powers in a nine-seat Supreme Court. Yeah, Thank let's you. talk about packing the court then. Let's talk about the Please. fact. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to. So the Trump-Pence administration has been, because I sit on the Senate Judiciary Committee, Susan, as you mentioned, and I've witnessed the appointments for lifetime appointments to the federal courts, district courts, courts of appeal. People who are purely ideological, people who have been reviewed by, by legal professional organizations and found to have been not competent are substandard. And do you know that of the 50 people who President Trump appointed to the Court of Appeals for lifetime appointments, not one is black. This is what they've been doing. You want to talk about packing a court? Let's have that discussion. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. 